Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, again, we're going to look at Bitcoin and Ethereum, and I'm going to go over a couple concepts. One of the little feedback we got was, will you use a lot of ifs? Well, yes, because we look to take actions at points. For example, this just ran up to our next cluster area. Okay, let me go over to the four hour we have continuing divergence so we made a new high right at the cluster area and then it fell back so this is where an area you raise your stop so let's say you've been looking at this okay don't know if it's going higher all right we have a cluster i'm going to move up my stop you know maybe you even say right below the 7200 level if it drops below that we're probably in for a bigger pullback okay so then i'll look to re-add it lower now, do we know how much lower it's going? No, but the next major area based off the four hour chart is about 69.61, 37.5% retracement. That is if we get below the rotation zone and the 50 period exponential moving average. The next major area below that, and we're just looking at the four hour chart right now, is this 62.5% retracement with the flat 200, right around 6,500. We'll just, we'll round up 64.78, 6,500. That's roughly where the 200 is. Now, if we switch over to the daily time frame, we can see where those levels are. So the right now, I'd really be focusing on watching this eight based off the daily chart, and which is just above this 37.5% retracement. I'd really be focusing in on the 7,000 area right in here. Then if we break through there, based off just pure price action, we had all this resistance over here all the way to the left. Resistance in here, resistance in here. That's the key support also at the bottom of the rotation zone. So that's the next major level I'd be watching for, probably about 6,800. So should we continue? And why do I talk about these levels? Because I'm looking for a potential fall to it, then some kind of either reversal pattern or rotation back up. Can I say it's, it's going to definitely fall this level and that's a perfect buy point? No, we have to look at the price action and then see if some strength comes in. Otherwise, we'll just get burned. So we have to be patient and map out our plan know when to move our stops by coming up with our clusters see now i can move up this all right let me go back to the four hour chart really with this bigger correction i'm going to take this all the way both these levels up over here and we're going to see what the next major areas are to be watching for so minor area about 7 8 12 major area 79 26 to 79 40. so these are areas if we do hold let's say we hold at this bottom prior support area and the bottom of the rotation zone and rotate back up these are areas we'll be looking to again raise up a stop or take some partial profits and then once we're through 79 26 81 67 then if it pulls back we know also where we're looking to add, but we're not just blindly buying it. We're identifying the key levels on our multi time frame charts, looking where they can come together, and then look for a rotation back up, or at least a move sideways and then a, a, a like launching off. So, what does a rotation back up? This was a rotation. So, it moved a bit sideways, eight came up, rotated back up, rotated back up, spiked to our key levels, could not hold at those levels and pulling back. So, at least you move up a stop. Or if you add it here, you at least, okay, I, I did an aggressive add here. Maybe I'll just scratch it out of break even and then wait for the bigger pullback and try another add in the future. So switching over to Ethereum. Ethereum, we're watching for these key levels. Again, lower and strong rotations back up, although you have to be cautious when the rotation zone is against you because like this rotation back up slammed right in the rotation zone, selled off. So it's better to wait till it gets above the rotation zone and then catches back on if the rotation zone is against you. So first level 463, pausing there, slight recovery, back to the first cross rotation zone, then coming back down, dipping down, but then closing, look at how this level held multiple times, and then the eight catch caught up, it spiked in the rotation zone, and then sold down. Could update the levels to the next levels down, because you got a nice pause here. Look at this, 444, pretty much dead stop on it, dipped a little below, right now it's just trading at that level. If we get through there, 436 is the next key area down below that. Now, on a rally, you have this prior support little ledge and the eight becoming resistance. So if you, let's say you did an aggressive buy down here. Let's say you had you guys had a uh, some kind of buy signal. So what would we be looking for? Well, we'd be looking for a first target around 458 to 460 to either take some profits or at least move up a stop. 
So if we're doing an aggressive buy here, we wouldn't just let it come up here and then rotate back down. We'd at least move up our stop. So we're, we're reducing our risk or maybe moving our stop to break even. Then if we get through there, look at we above that, we have the 50 exponential, the 200 simple and the declining 21 exponential and prior support becoming resistance all in that area. So we're putting all these things together and we're saying look around 468, 466 to 468, there's major resistance. So that's again, an area that might move up my stop or take something off the table. That's how you're using price action. Do we know what's gonna happen? No, but that's why we use our stops because yes, could we theoretically rock it through here and go to new, new recent highs? Yes, we could, but the worst case is then we've moved up a stop or taken something else off and then we get to add it on a pullback. Let's switch over to the daily, daily chart. So if we get through this 436, really, I'd be watching 436 to 432. It's a little wider area than I like. We might be able to fine tune it if we pause, but you can see all this key support and the 75% retracement. Now this isn't that positive because we've gone through to 50% and through to 62 and a half. We are watching to see where this bar closes. If it closes below the 62 and a half, that's generally not positive and we'll continue to watch for bigger pullbacks. Remember what I said, we've been making higher highs and higher lows on this recovery move. However, the key line in the sand is down at this 418. If we break through that, then the higher highs and higher lows have been done. And then we'll really start watching for much lower prices and going into and doing more aggressive sales in the rotation zone and then looking to add much lower. So we have for you on Ethereum and Bitcoin and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.